Hello everyone and welcome back to Love As We Know It. I'm Bay. I'm Elle. And we are just two women here to talk about life, love, and everything in between. <laughs> what's the giggles? Bay, what's the topic for today? <sighs> topic for t- <laughs> <laughs> Topic for today is straps. <laughs> We're going to talk about straps. Straps. Oh, my God. And the reason why we are talking about straps is because <sighs> this actually is a ongoing topic that Elle and I have on probably a pretty consistent basis, surprisingly. Surprisingly. I'm not surprised. Why not? We've been talking about it for a long time. Baby. We have. We have. Just yesterday, we looked at a few. We did. We did. Yeah, we got a brand down. Do you remember the name of it? I, I remember the cover. Not yeah. good with names. I know exactly what the cover looks like though. So if I would in the store, I would know exactly where to go and I remember oh, the texture. I do, I remember the texture too. Right. Yeah, so So the deal is is that Elle and I have actually never uh, we've never used one before. Facts. Now that's not ever in life, at least for Elle. So wait a minute. <laughs> Let me hear where this is going before I respond. Please. So no. <laughs> so for me, I have never ever used a strap ever in a same sex relationship that I've had. I've never had one used on me. I've never used one on anybody else. Versus <laughs> oh L over here. <laughs> she has used one on all every one relationships. Every single person she has been with. Each one teach one. Relationship <laughs> or no relationship. <laughs> she has used the strap. It's safe sex. No? No. <laughs> <laughs> Technically it is safe safe sex practices. <laughs> Maybe she'll tell y'all a little story about her strap pack. I, oh, I call it a strap yeah. pack. Babe. When y'all when you and your, your two friends set out. Babe, why you be st- she be telling my business on this podcast. Y'all don't even know me like this. She got my business in the street. She's gonna Maybe be like, that's the if... one that had the strap pack. No, no. Yes. Elle no. and her strap pack. So Whatever. maybe she'll tell y'all the story if she fell it up to it or mm-hmm. maybe not. Telling my business. And so the thing is, is that, you know, in relationships, do you strap? Do you not strap? Is that something that... Do you need it? Do you not need it? Right. And what determines that exactly? And so I had heard before, I was watching something, I think it was on YouTube, where it was a conversation about why studs date bisexual women. And I had asked Elle, I said, I said, you got a history of always dating bisexual women too. And the person in the video was saying that studs date bisexual women because they like to take the strap. Facts. And with, I guess, maybe lesbian women, it may be hit or miss with yeah, the strap. Yeah, so some les, the two lesbian women that, <laughs> that I've interacted with in my life, in my life, one was just like, I ain't about that life. And one was like, whatever makes the sex happy. So um, she was open to it. So it's just hit or miss. But is it necessary? Um, and... It's not always necessary, but it's fun. Uh, at least for me, it was back in the day when I was in these streets. When she had her strap pack. But yeah, why you got to say that? Because you How you going to name pack? it? How you going to name it, though? Because that's what it was. It wasn't no strap pack. Everybody yeah. knows studs walk around with a backpack, and you know what's in that backpack. Studs. Where were you headed with this strap pack? Do you remember? To go strap. What do you mean? When you see so you and your friends. What, was it Freak Nick y'all was headed nah, to? No, we wasn't at no Freak Nick. Who goes to Freak Nick, I babe? Don't... I ain't that old. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to be more Freak Nick. They when out did... there thought in it, Freak Nick. When we did not... Freak Nick no. stop? What was it? Uh, was that in the 90s? It was in the 90s, but I don't know when it stopped. We were at uh, Atlanta's Pride. Oh, We was okay. at Pride. My bad. I was old. Young whippersnapper. I was about 19, 20. I got my first strap, super excited. Had my strap backpack. You know how it is. My fellow studs. You know how it is when you you about to go somewhere and you got the backpack on and you ready to go. And I didn't know. You know, it's Atlanta. Atlanta got a lot going on. I ain't finna just be out there putting it in my mouth. You can't do that. Can't do that. So 
my introduction to the strap at 20 was like, ah! and from that point, she been strapping, strap, strap. Until I met my wife. <laughs> right. So and we have never used a strap. Like I said, when we met, I was abstinent. Mm. And that was a whole struggle for Oof. Elle. Oof. That was a huge struggle for Elle. Oof. She ain't never, ever, ever been in a relationship or Oof. dated someone that was abstinent before. I'm sweating thinking about it. It was very hard for her. Oof. And it was worth it, though. It was worth it. I think so, too. Mm-hmm. And we had had a conversation. I think this was kind of... I think it was probably before we actually met each other in person for the first time. Right, it was early. It was pretty early on, and we had had the strap conversation. Now, for me, the reason why I was so nervous was because I had never dated a stud before. And she calls herself a stud. I don't know. So I had my informant, which was my cousin. Oh, God. And my cousin is an AG slash stud, whatever you want to call it. Because we have our differences on what AGs and studs are. But anyway, so I would go to my cousin. And the first time I started knowing that something was probably going to happen with Elle and I, you know, I hit my cousin up and I'm like, yo, I don't know what to do with her. What do I do? (laughs) And then she's like, well, you can't say this. You can't do this. I'm an aggressive fam. I'm very aggressive. And Mm -hmm. I've always dated very feminine women because I am very aggressive. She ain't and that so, aggressive. She thinks she aggressive. She ain't I'm aggressive, aggressive, but I tone yeah. it down. I know I tone it down for you because don't be telling my you business. have to be dominant. I don't have to be. I choose to be. Well, I tone it down for her and I don't treat her the way that I wanted to, but if she want to sit here treat me. and act like... She don't no, treat me. You know what I'm Babe, saying. What do you so if she want to sit here and act like she ain't dominant, Babe, I, can show, I can show her dominant real quick if she's trying to see. You trying to see? You trying to see? Yeah, let's get out the podcast Because right Monique's now. teachings... Let's get out the podcast right now. Monique's teachings... My cousin's teachings have told me you can't do her like you do the fibs. You got to ease into it. Did you see how her voice got strong when she said that? Because that's how my cousin, because I'm talking about my cousin. (laughs) And so she's like, you can't do her how you do the fans. You got to ease into it. Mm -hmm. You can't talk to her like that. You can't just be putting her like that. You can't do. And so in my head, I'm like, shoot. I'm like, I don't know what to do now. I, I don't even know what to do. So then one day I was sitting there and I was thinking, I was like, dang. Am I gonna have to take the strap? <laughs> so I hit, I hit, I hit my cousin up, and I said, "Do I have to take the strap now?" And she's like, <laughs> and she's like, "Well, well, mm. yeah." Duties and like, responsibilities. I said, I said I ain't never had one before. I was like, "What? What's it like? What's it do?" Uh, how does it work if she can't really feel it and she's using it and I had all these questions and my cousin God bless her heart she answered every one of my questions I got super nervous because I was like dang I'm going to have to you know take this strap one day and I never (laughs) wanted it before like I never ever ever desired a strap like ever it just was something I wasn't interested in I didn't care if it ever played a role in sex so I'm talking to my cousin and then I'll be talking to Elle in between talking to my cousin mm. and then I'm trying to verify what my cousin is telling me I got to do to be able to be with an AG <laughs> slash stud because I'm oh. in total unfamiliar territory. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> and so <laughs> surprisingly mm. Elle said to me I've never dated a woman and not use the strap. Wow. And That's I facts. would like for us not to use the strap. Mm. And what Maybe we decided after know. talking is that we wanted to build the most intimate sexual relationship that we could by just using ourselves. Mm. We don't want to introduce any toys, although we looked at some yesterday. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. They're pretty dope, too. We'll talk about that later, later. <laughs> later but we later. didn't want to introduce any toys, any sort of anything um, into the relationship. Right. Until we felt where we needed to be with just ourselves because we we want to make sure 
that our sex life is, it has the right basis to it, which is the fact that we enjoy each other in every capacity possible. But we're just starting out with no toys. And then eventually we will move into... Um, that thing I seen yesterday. Some toys. That was sucking on my hand. Oh, man. So <laughs> yesterday... <clears throat> this is just a quick side note. So yesterday we were in the sex, this little sex shop, right? And the, there's a guy that was working in there. And he's kind of helping us out. We're looking at straps and stuff. And then I was like, hey, you got one of those little sucker thingies? <laughs> and he was kind of looked at me. I said, the, the clit sucker, the sucker thing so yeah. he brings it to me and i put it on my hand and i was like oh and this, then it had different like yeah. variations of suck and i was like this is i might not leave the house See? so then i put it on l's head and she was like mm. <laughs> right I was scooby doing like i didn't know what was going on <laughs> and just to give you a visual just to not throw our age out there a little bit. But do you remember, babe, I think the cartoon was called the Torkelsons, the Snorkelsons? The Snorks. The Snorks. The Snorks. See? Don't see. She loves TV and movies and all of that. I ain't about that life too much. You lie. But the ones that have the little tubes on the top of their head with the was, bubbles come out? It was the Snorks. Yeah, the Snorks. So that's what it looked like. It looked like the top of the Snorks head and the base was their face. And that thing was like just imagine somebody just sucking your face in that's what it was doing just it was it was intense it was i might not need babe we get one of them i'm telling you she'll be <laughs> like i'm gonna come every time i see her she'll be trying to do so i'll be like i'm good I'm, I, I gotta go to the bathroom sleeping. real quick <laughs> it was amazing oh god so, <laughs> Excuse we looked me. at a few things in the store, and we actually found some pretty good stuff. We looked at some straps, and yeah. we found some pretty good ones yeah. that texture-wise actually felt really good and right. cheap. Yeah, we found that like, one was hella cheap. Right, the best textured one we found in there was like the thirty nine bucks. Yeah, it was like so for me. I um I would usually go towards Doc Johnson because um that's just what I've been Did I doing. Touch that one? Yesterday? Yeah, you touched it. That you didn't was like the one it. that felt yeah. It felt yeah, you didn't rubbery. like it. Yeah, it was um, super rubbery. She didn't like that, but they have. I think the product lines are getting better because they're getting more realistic, and I think that's important. So um, we found some awesome ones yesterday. We found did. one in particular, and um, like I kind of got a feel for what Babe desires and what she doesn't desire, which ain't none of y'all business. But um, we had a good time. I think it was the area we were in too. They all had pink meat. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was a lot of pink meat. It wasn't no chocolate meat in there. No, it, it wasn't. wasn't. And <laughs> the thought of you being in a pink shirt. <laughs> we're gonna have to we're gonna have to go. We're gonna have to. <laughs> so but here's the deal, right? So when we're gonna go to Atlanta. When Elle said to me <laughs> <laughs> So when Elle said to me going back to the story where she didn't want to use the strap and she was totally fine with not using the strap and that she wanted us to just build and i was like okay that's pretty dope we're good so i had my cousin back and i was like she said we ain't gotta use it (laughs) i was like we good we good (laughs) and so right so i'm good because like i said i never wanted a strap never craved a strap whatever Mm -hmm. so you know come time for ella and i to meet each other in real life you know and real life we, like I said, she forced me to kiss her in the car. I did not force which... her. That was you to stop telling them the last. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you hit your elbow. Right. Because uh, the Lord knows you about to say something like that. I did not force you. She I did. wanted to kiss you. You wanted to kiss me. Why we just can't agree that it was a so, mutual agreement? I was, I was forced. See, you still like, get your hand. She's grabbing her chest like <laughs> I was, no, you was not forced. I was. If you guys go back and listen to how we met, you'll hear that. You'll this is, you'll this, hear is my this story. is forced. That's forced. Mm, don't do that. Yeah, you thought we like it that aggressive See, stuff. I, I can't. I can't so win. I can't win. So after I was forced to kiss her in the car, mm-hmm. after that I just wanted to keep kissing her, mm-hmm. and she because I had been abstinent for over a year. <laughs> Um, wow. You know, it's hard to control those, those urges. urges. And mm-hmm. it's very hard to control mm-hmm. the urges. Because the main thing is... <laughs> <laughs> you stop talking. 
I got to finish my story. <laughs> That's what's about to go down. So we get back to the hotel room. And like I was saying and how we met, it was pretty high heavy. It was really hard and difficult to abstain from sex. So we had a lot of close calls. <laughs> And anyway, flag on the plate. We <laughs> we had a lot of close calls that weekend, <laughs> but at one point we we're like real into it. I think we we're on the bed. We might have been on the floor. I don't know because at one point we went from the bed to the floor. I don't I'm even know. But thank God, you from the bed to the oh, I'm sorry, boo. <laughs> and we're fully clothed, right? Mm. But at one point, I don't know what happened, but. She flipped me and did something, and she was moving. Oh my and God. I was like, in yeah, my can you head, stop telling these folks my no, business? No, I'm not. And she was like, oh I was like, what is this? What is, what is this? And she put, she see. hates when I talk about this. I do. Elle put these strap moves Babe, on me. That is not, she made that up. Like, who says strap moves? No, she put these strap moves on me. When I tell y'all, oh my God. I was like, hmm? Hmm? But really? And it made me, from that moment forward, it made me like, I can't wait till we get to this strap point nope. where we get a strap. Because mm-hmm. I have, as a woman, I have never had another woman move on me like Elle did. I mean, it was natural. It was, hands was in the right place. It was aggressive. I was getting flipped. (laughs) (laughs) She was grinding. Quiet. What are you doing? She was grinding, and it was natural movement. I mean, she moved better than a lot of dudes do. And I was like, dang. Oh, my God. I'm talking about the strap right now, and I feel a tingle. And I ain't never even had the strap. But (laughs) (laughs) we got to cut this podcast. We better stop. This is like, and so I call it her strap moves. Ain't no such thing as that. Oh, it's her strap moves. That girl's so fluid with the strap, Mm -hmm. and she's been doing it for so long. She don't even realize that she moves like she has a penis attached to her. Attached. And it's so natural for Attached. her. What? Attached. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. What? Um, like a real one. Babe, stop making. Stop telling people my. She tells people my business. I do. Now y'all gonna be wondering. Don't wonder. Don't wonder. She be moving. Just me and babe. Just me and babe. Well, I'm gonna tell y'all like this. <laughs> When I do ever get the strap, and we're not really even sure when we're going to incorporate it because it's hard, you know, because we have, we don't have a set time frame for when we're going to do it. We don't have anything in place other than we're just going to do it when we're ready. And we don't know when that is. And we only see each other once a month for a couple Mm -hmm. days. And so there's no telling how long it'll be before we're ready. But I promise you one thing. One thing. I'm going to come back and tell y'all. This is your granddaddy. Now. I know that this puts some pressure on L probably no to pressure. deliver. No challenge too great. <laughs> Put no pressure on me. You don't tell everybody my business. You think I'm gonna let you come back on here and say I don't think the strap is for me? We're not doing that. No pressure. There's no pressure. I love you. I love you. There's no pressure. It is pressure. But I'm not going to lie, I got a little hype yesterday when we were in the store. Oh, my God. The store that she left her water in, that she thought I was about to go back in and get. I did not ask you. You didn't I ask said me, I said I was going to go back in. I didn't even so want her to go back in So, let me tell you something. This has nothing to do with what we're talking about, but I left my water in the little sex shop, right? Baby. We go, we get our pedicures, mm-hmm. and we were thick. in there for, what, like an hour? hour yeah. And we came out, and I got in the car, and I was like, where's my water at? And then I was like, I left it in the sex shop. And we're parked right outside the sex shop. Like, and so I was going to get out to go get it, and Elle just going to take off. Man, they ain't tell them what they done did to that water. I'm you pretty sure, sure it's fine. Water in a sex and it shop. was smart water. It you wasn't like not, no cheap water. You were not about to drink no water that you done left in a sex shop for an it's hour. A se- it was a clean store like, it doesn't matter it's a sex shop and you left it what is that would it make a difference somebody could have like put a, something in there a candy shop somebody, it don't matter somebody could put something in there it don't matter what shop it was they could put something in there 
Yep. Have one in my water. She did, but she ain't get it. Facts. And I spent the rest of the day very dehydrated because of her. (laughs) (laughs) Really? I was. No, she didn't. But yeah, so um, not something that's needed in our relationship. It may be something that we experiment with. It may not be. Um, No, it will be. It will be. Because uh, I can't live a relationship oh with her constantly doing strap moves. And Wait, I don't get to know what, what those strap moves do. About? I need to know what those strap moves do at some point in time. I'm you not an overrush for do. it. No. Yes, no. you do. No, I don't. You identify them. That's that's step one. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's all you need to I do. I just don't even know. I don't know. Mm. I don't. I can't believe you. Talk about we may or may not. No, we will. Tell my hairs. To it's just I. We don't know when, but we will, at some point. I don't think she's ready. What's that mean? I think she's kind of hyping herself up to be what ready. What does that mean? Think, I don't think you're ready, ready in what capacity though. Oh, period. Like, like what? Like period. But then, like how? Though? Like I don't think you're ready for that interaction with me. Why? What's gonna happen? Don't do that. Do don't let me tell the podcast what's going to happen. You tell them what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, you tell them after the again. fact. After the fact, you tell them what's going to happen. I think the most intriguing thing about straps is the fact that you get to choose it. You choose everything. There was one that I saw yesterday that even had a curve in it. <laughs> you remember that one? Yes. <laughs> it had a curve in it. And then it went from like skinny and got bulky at the end. It was oh, like a real God. one. And some... I was like... Some foreskin on it and everything. Yeah, it's so funny. <laughs> it was. It was. I didn't even know they were making those because the last time I went, like who painted in a this? sex store. Um, jeez. Mm. I buy a lot of stuff online, but the last time I physically went in the store and actually looked around, I think I might have been twenty eight. Oh really? So that was your first time in the sex store? No, that's just the last time last time okay and i went with a friend of mine he wanted to get a penis pump and then what yeah and then his penis got stuck in the pump (laughs) 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 it sure did and i don't even know why he was getting one because it wasn't like he needed one so one thing about me and my friends we are all very very open sexually we're not like very (gasps) timid people (laughs) and any by any means and (laughs) <laughs> we don't really care about stuff like that. But I went with him. I don't even know why he asked me, but he hit me up one day and he was like, you got work day? This is when I was stationed out in uh, in Maryland. And I was like, nah, I'm off. And we went out to D.C., some spot out in D.C. he found. But we went in there and he found a penis pump. And he was like, I've been looking for this. I was like, why? <laughs> because he don't need it. And he was like, I just want to, I just want to see. And sure enough, I just want to see. We <laughs> uh, we got back to the house, and he went in the bathroom, put that thing on, and it got stuck. Mm. And we in there with all types of oil, trying to lube the base <laughs> and get it out. I mean, eventually we got it out, but he was hurt. <laughs> and, and that was the last oh time I went to a, a sex store was to get a penis pump. That's crazy. I haven't bought anything for myself in a couple of years. I think the last thing I bought was the underbed restraints system. Underbed restraints. Just telling mm-hmm. your business, huh? Never you want to talk about them? We haven't even used podcast. we haven't used any of that yet either. Nope, it's not Which is time. this is interesting for us to be in this position where we just want to explore and build intimacy sexually by just using ourselves because Elle has permission to do whatever she wants mm. to me. Facts. Like, whatever she wants to me, it doesn't matter. I'm telling my business on this podcast. And she chose this. I chose what? For us to just enjoy each other. Yeah, I think that's important. I want to do something different. I don't want to continue to go down the path that I've been going down and wasting my time. And that meant a lot to me. I'm glad it did, babe. My eye burning. Oh. I don't know why. Allergies? Probably. Did you dig in it? I think I put my hand in it. I think I'm about to put my hand in it. Wait, in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Um, yeah, so she's going to put my business in the streets about the strap stuff. Um, mm-hmm. Not in the rear view anytime soon. Um. I think connection is key. 
I okay. think building that connection will help with the intimacy and I think it will help with having a healthy relationship. Just getting to know each other's bodies. I do too. I think that's extremely important. So I ain't telling you what to do in your relationship, but that strap, in my opinion, gave me tunnel vision. That was it. It was no uh, emotional connection with it. It was fun. It was entertaining. But if I didn't connect with the person, it was just, I felt like I was just out there in the streets. And that's what it was. And it was safe sex. <laughs> oh, that's so funny to me. Um, so But yeah. Connection. Connection. Do not allow straps to run your relationship. Because they will. They will make your relationship spiral out of control. But it's more than that. If you want a connection with the person that you love. So. We're not saying don't use them. And we're not saying don't use toys. Because we both are two people that are like. Pleasing each other has really no bounds. It is whatever works for the other person. In terms of. When it comes to pleasing someone sexually. So we're not limiting our sex life. Or anything like that. What we're doing is we're just. Building a different type of foundation first and then progressing from there. But we have no time frame for anything. It's whenever we're ready, yep. we'll open it up. And But right now, it's just the two of us together making that happen. And that's the only way that it's it's happening. Fetch. I don't want to say too much out there. <laughs> but... You don't say it every time. You don't put all my business uh, in the street. So my strap moves and too much. And... It's just interesting when you see someone else enjoy something that they've never enjoyed in the past and they didn't know they could actually enjoy. It's uh... mm. no comment. <laughs> it's no comment. It's exciting. So I exciting. I think that that's what I enjoy most about this building sex now that we're married and we have we're able to explore each other in that way i i like getting to know l in that way so it's enjoyable it's it's enjoyable um i think for both of us to to kind of figure each other out and see what the other person likes see what they don't like what they respond to, what's mm. okay, what's not okay. Yeah. A lot of laughing moments. <laughs> oh, yeah. um, you it's... gotta be fun. <laughs> you gotta have fun. Um, it's fun. I leave uh, a little, a little tip for all the strap users out there: clean your strap. Don't just <laughs> oh, be throwing on condoms and thinking everything okay. Clean your strap. Sanitize it. Do maintenance on it. Don't just be jugging them things in women, giving them what you can get for just jugging in straps, babe. You medical. You can get everything. You can get everything. That's what she said. So just make sure you take the necessary precautions to make sure you clean your strap. Um, just throwing a condom on doesn't make it clean. So just make sure you soak that thing up and get it cleaned up. Or buy the um, They have products that you can buy to clean the strap, sanitize it. Put it in a safe place. Just, don't just throw it in your backpack and it ain't in no it ain't in no bag. Get you one of them Crown Royal bags or something. Put it, <laughs> put, put it in one of them Crown Royal bags. Don't just put it in your backpack and you got lint and M and M's and stuff and you it, you pull the strap out and it's stuck to it and just gross, just gross. So just make sure if you're gonna use it, you maintain it and respect the women that you're with with it because. If they're entrusting you to put that in them, they entrusting you to make sure it's clean and it's ready to go and you ain't just use it on the girl down the street. Big facts. Um so that's my little tidbit right there. Um you got anything else, babe? Strap move face. <laughs> Can't believe you telling my business. Uh no, I don't have anything else other than I will let y'all know. When we do use the strap, Rawr. what my first strap experience was like. It, listen, Elle done definitely set a standard, okay? Oh, my God. She has it got the curiosity flowing. So she she, okay. she achieved something she wasn't even trying to achieve. She done turned a non-strapper. 
a non strength. <laughs> Wait, what is going on with you? What is oh my god. Into a believer. Oh okay. Goodness. I believe that some great things can happen in the future. Mm-hmm. And I am looking forward to it. And we probably talk about it as much as we do because I bring it up because now does, I'm on the curiosity I side. I, she doesn't. She doesn't. I'm the one that brings it up because I'm so curious. Like, if, if I turn this podcast off right now and we start getting into it, she going to be doing her moves, mm-hmm. man. And then it's going to trigger that curiosity. I'm going to be laying in the missionary right like I am right now. Mm-hmm. But... All right. Well, you all, thank you for listening <laughs> to us. I'm going to let Bae close out like she always do because I'd like to hear her sexy recipe voice. Whatever. Rawr. she been well, letting me growl lately. If you guys lately. like because I'm noticed. done fighting the, the rawr, <laughs> the rawr growl, sick cat sound. So I just let her do what she does now. If you guys like this podcast, please like, comment, subscribe. Share with your friends as always, and share if you with your mama. <laughs> like to include anything or give some strapply advice, oh my God. you can hit us up on Ellen Bay Podcast at gmail dot com. Next episode in a week, and we look forward to seeing you guys then. Out. Be blessed. The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.